Hello, welcome back. So here is a second uh, example for triggers. So let's say we have uh, our table, like uh, employee table, uh, have this kind of things. Uh, if I do select star from EMP or by job, then I'm getting this this many rows. Okay, and then if you notice that uh, another table called cell grade. So if I do select star from cell grade, it's giving me all this thing. Like what it says that if a if a grade is a manager, then his high low salary is five thousand and high salary is nine thousand. If the if the grade is analyst, then his low salary is two thousand, high salary is four thousand. So that means if if you know as analyst his salary should be lying between the low sal and high sal in this table and that that's really working here because Scott is analyst and he's getting 3000 which is between low sal and has high sal for analyst okay so now here is the problem that occurred let's say for example uh, we want to uh, change the sal grade table and we want to update we want to say that all the analyst okay all the analysts are now going to get a minimum salary of 6000 high salary of 7000 okay so that means we are changing this low salary from 2000 to uh, so 4000 and high salary from 4000 to 6000 so in that case what is going to happen is that we change this uh, we ins we update this sal grade table for the grade analyst with a new low sal and high sal However, if you see this employee table, this still pointing to 3000, okay? So which is not, which is below the low sal, okay? So generally what happens in the business rule is something like this. So whenever you are changing the sal grade table, okay, ensure that if some employees are falling below their grade low sal, then at least make that employee's salary to the lowest salary in that grade. That means if I am making this analyst instead of 2000, so let's say I make it to 4000, okay, make it 4000, okay, I can't, so I cannot change it here. But anyway, like, you know, the, 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 the goal here is that if I change this thing, update this analyst to 4000 low salary and high salary 6000, I would like to see this Scott employee name and Ford employee name, their salary should have been changed to the grade minimum. And what is the grade minimum? The grade minimum is 4000. Okay, so how do we solve this problem? Again, so if you remember, we are trying to achieve something auto automatically whenever something happened here. Okay, so that must, that, that means that we probably might need some kind of triggering statement. So that means whenever there is an update happen. Okay, so here is the triggering event is, you know, update for each row okay and the condition is that if the grade is changing okay and then the action is that we are going to update the employee tables you know we will we'll first find out which which employees are required to be updated for example if president doesn't have any low any change in low salary and high salary then whoever is president we should not change anything there okay so so that means you know first find out what are the records that is going to be updated and then you update that to the minimum salary and the, the minimum salary or low salary is identified by new dot low sal so to solve this thing what we can do we can write some kind of triggers which probably looks like this so just let me just do a code work through here so that uh, I hope it will understand uh, it, it will be helpful so my trigger name is m underscore job and when this trigger is going to fire, this trigger is going to fire after updating the sal grade table. Okay, so after updating the sal grade table, that means if I do update and set low sal is equal to six thousand, you know, uh, of of sal grade table, then only this trigger is going to fire. Okay, then when you going to fire for each row, for each update is going to fire. Okay, then here what I'm going to do? So basically, this is what we are finishing our event and this is all these things is action okay and in action the first thing that we are going to we are going to find out first find out who are the employee in this table okay who are the employee in this table who are eligible that means if an employee is already above uh, if, if the current salary of employee is above the low sal then we do not have to do anything so that is the reason why we need this cursor 
okay so in this cursor we are getting all the employee from the employee table where the job is a new job so new job means so like you know whenever you do, whenever you do update okay so update then we would give a set then we give job is equal to analyst where job is equal to analyst so that is means like you know that new job is analyst here okay and then uh, sal is less than low sal and then for update and uh, this is the cursor that we write and then here in a for loop we are basically updating the emp table okay with the new low sal so whatever the employees that request the salary request to be changed is updated here using this for loop so this is another example of writing a cursor you know to make sure that the different values are in sync okay so essentially you know we we you know our triggering situation is firing based on a update on sal grade table okay so this is why you are going to use triggers to solve this kind of problem